Roka, aggressive in towards Huka, will fall away for now. As Faze start to walk their right way here. up through Long Not Garden. This could be huge here, especially if Roka gets caught out by somebody. Swarm Grenade grows in. Roka drops and swings on the rock. Is huge first kill, and now Roka's back towards Huka. Trying to take out Corey, gets spanned through that wall, though. Will have nothing to do left in this round. Still a 4v3 in the favor of Space Station. Baby Bay with the Operator looking for something back. Inksy and Kaplan, though, out towards Elbow. Get one kill, make it a second. One for each of them. And leaving it all on to Corey again, who falls to the hands of... First pick for Bustio, and now he goes for more. Has a second, looking for a third. Will find it as Raucus will finally get a trade back in hand. But still, three for one. Anybody will take that any day of the week. That saved rifle probably not going to do all too much in the grand scheme of this round either. Seth just backing away towards bathrooms, waiting for somebody to peek. Will actually catch a bit of inf- Cage, did he not know this? Surely, okay, now, I think he did, he just wanted to make sure nobody was coming in through bathrooms. We'll pop that cyber cage as well. Drops the camera out, which is soon destroyed. Paranoia comes in, though. Seth will spray, and Baby Bay will fall. All down onto Rockus now and towards U-Haul with a sheriff. Looks for one towards heaven. Not going to be able to take that shot as Kaplan finishes the job with the op. Okay, it's a bit more with the hero, a.k.a. hero vandal play with the Spectre's stingers in hand as well. Showstopper! We'll actually get the first of Maroka, but Kaplan is right there for a trade. Inksy doubles down as well. Kaplan finds a second, and it's all down to Rockus again. As soon as this round starts, it has devolved against FaZe and evolved to look like another likely space station gaming round. Rockus does have the spike, but he has been tagged by the Owl Drone, still sticking around towards Long. No attempt to take the teleporter, and look at Bustio holding that exit from the TP. Great play right there, and Kaplan will find the hat. They continue to put the pressure outside that site. Baby Bay leading the charge here. Inksy just threw his dark cover. Forces the dash away from Baby Bay. And will exchange a little bit of broadsides, but no kills just yet. Zachary, however, has eliminated Bustio. That's been a thorn in the side of FaZe so far, and a good start for them to try and grab a third. Lockdown initiated, though, coming in from Zachary. Roka still in sight, too. Has at least one on the core. He could get caught by the lockdown, though. Roka will fade away. The site will be surrendered to FaZe in the 4v4 retake. Damage dealt to the aforementioned Reyna. The Leer comes through. Broken by Baby Bay. More damage dealt to Roka. Great paranoia, but Roka has fallen first to Zachary. Baby Bay still around here, not catching him to be out. Inksy with one more kill, and this time on to Zachary. 3v3 with Kaplan on the op. Throws a shock dart in towards Tin Can, not going to grab anything just yet. Spam through the wall, Huhuka will catch one. Inksy with another. Baby exactly Bay takes a ton of damage to the hands of Kaplan, and now he will fall. Inksy sprays and does damage to the Neural Theft, revealing the last position of Rockus. And there is nowhere for Rockus to escape. The spike has been tapped. The spray is coming through. And Seth through the boxes will put the final nail in the coffin of FaZe in round number 12. And it will be Space Station's 10 to 2 half. Eight in a compult is destroyed. The spike is outside towards A as it leans heavy towards A. But FaZe, a couple, making three kills here out towards A short. And one towards B mid. As the superior weaponry is seeming to obliterate the side of Space Station for now. Kaplan, Sheriff in hand, will actually catch one on Corey. So that does work out for him. And maybe a second, perhaps, on to Marv. We'll see if the timing goes his way. It does go his way, but Marv has the better angle and the better shot. It's all down to Seth now in a bit of a heroic and elastic 1v4. I think at this point, economic damage is all he hopes for. Turret will reveal the position. And Zachary will finish the job as mech started. 10 to 4 now as rotation make it 2 goes back towards A. The hit's going to come through here. Good paranoia by Marv. But Bustio throws the curveball and the hot hands through as well. Marv with one, making a second, still alive here. Kaplan will trade as Inksy found one as well. 3v3, making a 3v2. Huge kill there from Bustio. Hopping on the bench and a great kill to start things off here. Zachary trying to make his way back onto the site. Corey as well. One spotted, one kill goes back the way of both teams, and it's all done to Corey in a 1v2. Knows what Bustio is, has that first kill, has the lone rifle for the side of phase as well, has to be the hero. Seth holding close in U-Haul, takes a bullet to the brain, and Corey pulls it off. 1v2, phase make the retake happen. Those two kills from Marv on site have to be critical as well. There will be a fifth round on the board. Of calling it the room because it sweeps out areas. Tries to clean things up. Oh, Roka! That's a great shot there on Akori. Uses the tracking from the Owl Drone tag perfectly. 
Rockus is still here towards Garden, though. Takes some damage, takes a lot of damage, and eventually falls down. Roku with the initial headshot. Inksy with the follow up damage. Seth is still lurking out towards Long as well. The spike is down, and time is ticking. Space Station off the back of that timeout. Have some life here on the attacking side. Killjoy lockdown activated, though, for Zachary. Paranoia combo with the flashbangs from Bustio. Not going to work out, though. Marvin and Zachary finding kills back and forth. Phase out of the man advantage now. Smoke's on the side, but a huge kill from Seth out long. Edge all in on the baby bank. Gonna find another one. Marvin's in the hold. Sticking, holding, praying, and the prayers will not be answered. Kaplan with the sh classic burst. A little bit of hookah control and a little bit of hookah pressure. Roomba goes out. Boombot will find nothing. Hunter's Fury comes in, but Roka has the opening onto Corey again. Roka will stay alive, though. I don't think he'll be able to get the overheal, however. Bustio chimes in with one on a baby bay, though. And it's starting to fall apart here for FaZe. Down two players to start things off early on. And Zachary has been spotted as well. Hot hands doing a little more damage. Up goes Kaplan and down to the floor as well. Inksy falls to the tin can. Zachary trying what he can to bring his team back into this one. Spike is on site. And here comes Marv. Huge first kill brings it to a 2v2. Marv and Rock is up against Bustio and Seth. Bustio has that first though. And it all rests on the shoulders of Rock as who has tucked his way in towards the tin can. Spike still down on site. Not recovered just yet. Seth throws out the camera. We'll have a bit of information now that the camera's been destroyed. But where exactly Rockus is, they don't know. Good curveball there from Bustio. The spike's on top of Tin Can. Up goes Bustio and down to the dirt. It's a 1v1 against Seth. Rockus catches the angle, catches the top. Rockus looking for an opening kill. The spike starting to go down here. Roka with the first on the mark. Lockdown coming in, but Roka has two before the lockdown can be activated. Baby Bay with another one from Heaven as well on the Operator. A shot onto Roka, and it's a pixel-perfect one onto the head. 3v3 now as the spike has not yet gone down. Bustio creeping, crawling towards the teleporter. Has been able to take a look at the spike. It's still down. Seth lurking in towards bathrooms. Oh, the watchful eye of, of Rockus was there for now, but now has been changed to a different angle. Zachary has also rotated into a good close right angle. Inksy, though, has picked I up a Vandal at the very least. Has grabbed the spike, too. That's huge. Left. The dark cover allows the recovery. Zachary will peek around. Will not catch anybody, though. Space Station, not a lot of time. They have to come to the A site and phase of all three players here. Shadows Maybe Baby Bay, Bay will head back towards B. Exactly that will be the case. Good Paranoia comes in. Bustio charges forward. Might catch somebody off, but the time is oh so low. Zachary's moving. Surely the sound has been heard. And Bustio will check it. Ingzy lands a one as well. And it's all down to Baby Bay's operator. Has to ace clutch this. It would be a 1v3 ace clutch. Has the first, but not the second. Bustio comes in from you all. All Emmett, you're going full throttle. Joke's over! So, a little dead. anecdote there, the more you know. Insert the little star thing here. Run it back here from Bustio to clear things out. Might catch somebody off guard as well. And he will! Corey, his first victim! Roka goes down to Mar or gets the kill onto Marv. It's a 3v5. FaZe might just run for the hills here, and I would suggest it. They don't have money to work with in the next round, I don't believe. And, well, they really can't afford to lose all too many rounds. And then give themselves the best chance back. Baby Bay, though, with a first. To try and bring things back. Zachary going for a spam onto a dark cover. Very paranoid here on the phase players. Still 4-3 to three in the favor of SSG in terms of manpower. 2-1 to one of the rounds. Great kill from Zachary, though. Baby Bay gets another one back. Seth will trade it to a 2v2. Killjoy and Sova versus Killjoy and Sova. Zachary chiming in again. Zachary is doing it all for FaZe right now. Putting the team on his back. In comes the Hunter's Fury. One tag. Naked another tag. And a kill for Kaplan. And it's going to clutch it out as well. No more time to defuse for FaZe. here. Clearing all the angles. Roka. It's coming down to timing here against Zachary. The solo holder here on B. Rockus has come in as well, but Rockus has fall, but here comes Zachary, again holding strong. Location revealed, and Roka has taken him out. That's a huge kill from Roka to deal with a major thorn on the side of SSG on the B site. Rotations are already here, though, from FaZe as the spike goes down. Marv, Baby Bay on the operator, and Corey on the breach, trying to come back in. 
Seth was spotted by the op. It will ring out, but it will not ring true. Baby Bay now taking some pot shots around. Marked has eliminated Capo. No, that's a good start. Baby Bay follows up onto Seth. Flash Bing comes through in the Rolling Thunder as well. Bustio tritted out by Corey. It's all down to Roca. Throws out the Leer. Roca blind, spamming blindly. Baby Bay swaps to the Vandal. Sprays down Roca, and FaZe will grab their second on the board. Spring the trap out towards A. Lucio drops the hot hands in, and the run it back goes through as well. Spots out the first turret, and runs through a swarm grenade. Pushing ever forward, will get nothing but information. Inksy in the meantime has eliminated Zachary. They know where Baby Bay is too. Baby Bay in that dark cover looking for something. Might catch somebody through it here. The turret, oh, damage onto Roka and the kill! a huge one to start things off for baby bay in phase Corey brings it back to a 4v3 in the favor of the defending side the gate has been closed but blown asunder soon after seth rotates around towards generator and marv has another baby bay with one more seven one v4 as the first goes back for more but takes a lot of damage low on ammunition as well raucous comes in hits the headshot got a little close good angle down towards the deep run a cat the owl drones might just have a bit of a kiss they will not throw it into each other in the midair the shots ring out from the operator. Baby Bay getting tagged through the wall and through the smoke. Kaplan with a chuck dirt kill onto the fellow Sova of Rockus. That's a good start to the side of Space Station. Roka with his leer looking for some information out towards mid as well. 5v4 in the favor of Space Station Gaming. They continue to work their way around the map, continue to put the pressure on the defensive side, and continue to keep phase below their scoreline if... Space Station pull off this map, it's over, and they make themselves a spot in the closed qualifier, and FaZe have to play tomorrow at the very least, and potentially battle a gauntlet all the way through Saturday. Baby Bay, though, holding in towards Catwalk, has the first kill on to Bustio. Roka might be the next one to face, but we'll think better of it for now. Wise decision there. 4v4 should still favor the attacking side, though, as there is more space opened up across the map. Perhaps they want to try their way mid to B. Or even spawn to A, but Baby Bay is keeping an eye left. on the rotations here. Baby Bay, the operator, could be critical. Has an angle on towards the market cross. Not going to do anything, though. Throws a smoke and just falls away. That's a missed opportunity there for Baby Bay. Killjoy turret doing a little bit of damage to Zachary. Now they know where Zachary is. Surely! Now they do for sure, but that was a little bit sketchy there. I'm surprised I didn't hear the shots of the turret ring out. Roku gets one, but Zachary has another. Spike goes down. No, it does not! Huge kill comes through. That's going to win the round for FaZe. And Roku's going to fall after the time as well. Baby Big blocked up by the dark oh, cover. No. Boost you out towards Garden, though. Fells Corey. There is a flight coming in from Marv. Will it reveal anything? That is the question. Spike is already down for the side of Space Station Gaming. Baby Bay still out towards heaven, looking for an information peek back. We'll dodge around the smoke. We'll not catch anything, though. We'll have to destroy the turret. Marv, though, with two on the flank, and that could just spell doom here for Space Station. The 6-6 scoreline going back the way of FaZe. Dashes and updrafts away for Baby Bay, and the floating classic will work out for him. Rockus will actually get nothing. Roka has another kill here. Still dodging array. Bustio comes in and Bustio bails out Roka. Bolts destroyed. The push comes through. The Odin should be ringing out, but it's not. Seth holding back and hiding. And Seth is actually just going to fall first. Kaplan goes for a spray. Gets the first. Actually, no, that was Inksy on Damar, but it's a 4v4. The Odin ringing through, but Bustio falls to Corey in the meantime. Roka, though, will trade it back to a 3v3 and overheal. Spike down and plenty of time for SSG, but they need to hop on their horse pretty quickly here, or else FaZe can just hold them back with utility. Lear goes in, huge for Roka, goes intangible. Moving forward behind the boxes, dodges that paranoia, waits for it to expire. Inksy with another, Zachary in the boathouse will not be the hero this time for FaZe. It's Inksy with a hat trick on the round, 7-8 now in the favor of Space Station Gaming. As we're just going to give the ult orb point to Inksy. Massive gamble. It's a massive gamble they don't need to take right now. Hunter's Fury from Kaplan, though, has a tag onto one with the Owl Drone. Looking for a kill, though. Has one onto Marv, and that's a great start. Follows it up as well, but Corey and Rockets have brought it back to a 3v3. In comes the Recon Bolt. Will not reveal anybody just yet here. Boostio looking for something out towards Catwalk. It looks like it might rest a lot on Seth to hold down the B side here. Great bit of work there from Kaplan, though, with the Hunter's Fury, and then following it up with the rifle. 
Slow and steady down to this 3v3. The alarm bot triggered there by... Seth's alarm bot triggered by the onslaught of the phase squad. They look pretty committed towards B, but they have enough time to bail out. Smoke goes out, turret destroyed. Seth, can he hold the line? Swarm grenade out, but it's not going to wall off everything. Kaplan has rotated in as well. There's no more time to bail out. Dash goes through. And Baby Bay's going to peek right in. Kaplan chimes in with the Guardian, his third of the round. And Seth from Boathouse should just about finish the job here. Dancing around with Zachary, who walks right into the waiting crosshair of all Seth. Again, not that boost map point. That is the opposite of what they want to do. Boostio, though, first shot using the turret as a shield. That's a nice little play, I think. I don't know exactly how viable it is. More than just a one trick. But it works out for the first kill. That's a good start for SSG. Something to bring them back into this game. Give them life here. Out. Slowing down. So they rotate around. Bustio holding back towards Marker this time. Repositioning and keeping an eye on mid as well. If the timing goes against him. The B site should be taken over by phase. Oh, boost, yo, that's a great another pick. Corey will trade it out. And now it's a 4v3 in the favor of SSG. Space Station Gaming all grouping up for this rotation and trying to get full on Phalanx to retake the site here. Spike going down. Recon Bolt should be going through as well. Inksy could go from the shadows and pop up in the boathouse. Very interesting post plans here from Phase as well. Two towards B main and one just outside of the market door. I like the crossfire towards Market 2 between Rockus and Zachary, who's been a critical player here for Phase this game. Zachary has been indomitable so far. Rockus, the double kill on a... Just a quick, quick, a quick click of the mouse. Corey chimes in for one more. And Seth falls to the... Sh Inksy goes for a spray through the smoke. We'll find nothing here. Roka on Seth, though. Actually, Seth got a kill with the Swarm Grenade. Marv has traded things back. Baby Bay has the blades activated. Spike going down as well. Baby Bay back to the rifle. Huge kill on a Bustio through the floor of heaven. Inksy goes back for a spam, though. Inksy is extremely low. Could fall here. Lockdown coming in from Seth. Fault line goes up as well. Inksy looking to grind something out. Trying to find a kill back. Marv just on the edge of it as well. Out towards deep mid. Seth dodges the fault line, too. Closing the gap here. Baby Bay, though, first kill. Kaplan trades it back, spamming with the Odin. Going back for more! See split here, though, coming in from Space Station. The two players here, Marv and Corey, can try and lock things down. Dark cover goes back towards spawn where Roka's working on up. Oh, Marv's gonna come down to a 1v1 duel. Inksy wins that one. Ghost for Corey. Only one kill. Roka trades it back. But here comes the hot flight. Baby Bay with one. And here comes Rockus as well. Spike going down. It will go down. And Inksy has eliminated one, but Rockus trades. 2v2. Zachary coming in from behind. Now in a 1v1 against Bustio. Rockus has done a lot. Is it enough? Turret dropped. Now the information gained. Bustio falling back as well. Might have an upgraded gun. Zachary on the Spectre makes a ghost of Bustio. And now it's going to be a second round on the board for FaZe. They pull it right back very close, but no cigar going the way of SSG as FaZe. We're going to be able to pick this one up. Aggression towards mid. It's Baby Bay with the blades trying to find something. Goes for the right click, though does not connect in onto Roka, who gets that first kill. Takes a little bit of damage, but all things considered. Death by a thousand paper cuts if he was to fall to that kind of damage. C site will be taken by SSG momentarily. The spike is going down on site. Inksy holding down. Actually, it's Marv through the dark cover and the box to eliminate the, the planter. Roka will get one back, though. Inksy will trade as well. Seth and Kaplan mop up the rest. Two to two, the score line as expected here. Spike will go down. Roka holding for the first push will fall away into underpass now. 5v5 on a retake. It's going to be a slugfest here. If FaZe elect to attempt this, Paranoia goes through. Showstopper goes out. First one for Roka. On to Zachary. Looking for more here. Location has been revealed. Throw the recon dart there, but Marv will trade it back on the Kaplan. Roka, though, still holding from under scaffolding. Darts away, but Seth has come through. Boostio on the blades. The last two kills. Rockus and Corey taking aggression down. It's 
Omen versus Omen here. And it's won by Marved. Good opening kill. That sea long aggression working out in the favor of FaZe for now, but Bustio comes in for one through the connector tunnel. Marv still out towards long drop by Kaplan. That's huge for SSG. Spike going down on C. Here they come with a rifle. Zachary on the rotation. Spike two planted. through spawn as well. Zachary not watched. Doesn't have anybody to kill just yet, though. Operator from Baby Bay. In comes Zachary, though. One kill. Trade it back by Roca. 3v2. Still advantage to the favor of SSG. Baby Bay looking for something. Oh, it's a great cypher dart there on towards Baby Bay. And Roka knows exactly where he is. Goes for the intangibility too. Up oh, shot missed by Baby Bay. Roka should be able to put this one to bed. If not, there's a multitude of other players here on his team. Two more to be exact. Smoke's going down. And Roka's just waiting. Baby Bay, here's the updraft. Corey has the first kill on the boost, yo. Will they abort? Doesn't look like it. it looks like they're going to continue to go for this. Inski goes for the teleport in towards Under Heaven. Has the information that need to rotate out. But here comes Marvin on the flank. Inski is aware of this possibility, but will he win the duel? Spots the gun barrel and hits the shot. Great trade back for SSG. 4v4. Faze starting to break up as well. As now they know that they have been spotted. They know that there could be a rotation back around as well. Zachary holding down left. towards C. B set relatively undefended. A very passive hold coming in from Corey. Inski rotating in towards Garage. Shadows traveling. Three through Garage, one, two, one through Long. Time so low. Zachary needed at least one there, preferably Ten two. Finds nothing. Spike should be going down here pretty quickly. No Hunter's free, no ultimates at all for the side of Phase. There is the Empress for Roka. Will he go for it? That is the question here. Baby Bay has the Judge as well, has the Dash and an Updraft. Goes for a shot, will not find anything. Two players towards Garage, one through Spawn. Corey looking for the first, but Roka and Seth hit the heads. Rock is left alone with a 10 HP, and Roka puts in the bed as well. There will be a split towards the C site. Kaplan would be the first point of contact. Seth has actually fallen already. Kaplan does a lot of damage, and a second kill. Throws in that Chalk Dart too. Will it get a kill? No, it won't. He's been so good with the Shock Dart so far. He's not going to kill on this one, though. Health very low on Marv. Inski comes in. Bustio time through as well. And Inski with the final kill of the round. Mows down Arrakis. A lot of damage. Will allow him to return to the site, but he takes a lot of damage in that engagement. A site will be the point of contention here. Baby Bay pushing up. Great paranoia, though. Marv, however, has eliminated an Inski. That's a good start. Zachary chimes in as well on the Kaplan. No more defenders here on the A site to be eliminated. The rotations are going to come through, though, and since it is a bonus round, I do not see SSG going for a save. Bustio has the Vandal up in heaven, too, trying to rain hell down from above. Up through long, Roka's going to creep his way forward. Seth is out towards spawn connector. Roka, that's a good opening to when he has to win. He does. Comes in for more towards short as core to trade. Baby Bay chimes in for one more. But Bustio in the 1v3 has the first. Low HP on the second player, but not going to work out for him. Hold it down. Has Roka to support from the window. Ace has been abandoned. They have the Cypher information now. That's all they have. And Bustio, first kill on the Baby Bay. Traded out by Marv, however. 4v4. Roka is yet to be spotted. Roka is yet to make a move. The Owl Drone comes through, though. Roka times! No! Roka falls to the Classic. A Vandal picked up now for Corey. Rotation called by Inski over towards Garage as well, leaving Seth all alone on the B site. Again, A, open. Just the Cypher utility, the tripwires, the camera, and the cages to hold it off. And that looks like where Phase 1 to edge their way. They're going to hedge their bets onto an A take, and it's the right call. This is exactly the perfect call for Phase right now. SSG far removed, particularly Kaplan, left. who's all the way on the opposite side of the map, as far away as you can get. If Seth doesn't che check his camera, this could get very messy very quickly. Tripwire will reveal the location. Rotation should be coming in quickly here. Spike will go down. They know there's no time to rotate around. Chart goes on top of the boxes. A 3v4 retake for SSG. In the back of the timeout, though. Phase on a mid of a mixed buy. Looking like it could just work out, perhaps. Inski thinks better of the dark cover for now. Has a paranoia as well. That could be huge. Seth and in and uh, rather Kaplan in towards heaven. Zachary's going to drop that lockdown. Will not block the players in heaven though. Interestingly enough, it doesn't have the range and it only forces Inski back towards spawn. Time has been cut. 
And now in comes the take. One has been spotted. Zachary, though, two with a stinger. Somehow grabbing both. Inski has one more trade, but has no time, has no chance, and has to bail. Eight rounds now on the board for FaZe. They cleanse it shot. The cage has been activated as well, but there's enough time to rotate back. It would be risky to go back towards A, but it could be a potential B hit here. They might just leave Baby Bay left. along towards C to just be a distraction to a sacrificial lamb. They are going to go towards A. They're going to make their move, but who's waiting? It's Bustio. First op shot connects, and that's huge. Roka chimes in on the Baby Bay, holding down the lurk. I know he's going to aggressive again. A lineup, but still the first. Drops that smoke and hides around. Tag, and the no scope comes in from Bustio to finish the job. 11 to 8 now in the feed. Now, Bustio is here with an operator in hand. A little more passive than he was the last time, but still able to hold things down. Spots at the first. Lands that first shot. Huge kill on the Baby Bay. Inksy with Last two. Inksy holding it down. Cap one times in with one more. The Blade Storm out for Bustio to try and eliminate Rockus, who has the Operator. And is backed into a corner. Up goes Bustio. Down goes the Blades. And the shock dart from Cap one to put... Information with the drone will expire before it finds anything. See sight abandoned. Cap one now starting to rotate over a little bit more. In comes the Blade Storm from Baby Bay. Cyber Cage activated though, getting some information. Baby Bay, however, tucked into the back site. The site now swarming with phase members. The attacking side full control. 5v5 retake. SSG win this. They take the close qualifier spot. SSG lose this phase. Need two more. Already overtime confirmed for SSG. And wouldn't that just be how this game goes? Seth, though, looking for some spray damage. Not going to find anything just yet. Zachary looking for a recon dart to destroy. But Seth has the first on the rockets. Paranoia comes through. Inski walks in and down to Baby Bay. Roka, however, trades it back. Seth with another. Maul, Baby Bay, and Roka all finding frags. It's a flurry here on site. And Kaplan has the final one. He's just capped it off here, folks. Space Station Gaming pick up the final map. 13-9. They had to find 13-9.